Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Readsy, and today I'm super excited to be running a crossover with our weekly writing contest here on our YouTube channel. If you're not familiar with our writing prompts contest, basically it's a writing contest that runs every single week. Every week on Friday, we announce a new contest with a different theme and five prompts related to the theme. And then you have a week to write a story based on one of those prompts, submit it, and the winner is announced the following week and wins a $250 prize. So every contest has a different theme, I decided to pick the theme of fabulism. So fabulism or magical realism is the use of magical elements in an otherwise realistic story, but the catch and what sets it apart from fantasy is that in fabulism we don't explain the magic, there's no framework, there's no structure, there isn't even really logic to it. It's more symbolic, it's used to express ideas or emotions or themes, things that maybe would be too powerful to express just through reality. And the result is something that is uncanny and strange and bizarre and dreamy and very, very unique. The end result is not just really imaginative and weird and creative, but also very human and emotive. That's what I think is so special about fabulism and what happens when you intersect magic and realism in this way. So even though this might seem like a very niche, even very difficult genre, I thought that it would be the perfect theme for this week's contest because I think it's something that any writer can bring something really unique to the table with. Whether you're a realistic writer or a sci-fi fantasy writer, I think any writer, no matter what style you usually write in, can bring something very special and very personal to this style of writing. The fun about fabulism is that it asks you to just be wildly imaginative. You can be completely unrestrained in your creativity. And to me, it kind of brings me back to what first got me into writing as a child, which was this, you know, love of imagination and creating stories. And back then I wasn't restrained by logic or rules or anything like that. And I feel like fabulism kind of lets you go back to that place of like childlike wonder and imagination. And there can just be no limits, no rules, and you can really just let your imagination run wild. You know, I hope that this week you can allow yourself to just write something kind of unrestrained and imaginative. And I can't wait to read the stories that result. So the prompts for the week, there are five as usual. The first one is write a story where a regular household item becomes sentient. I feel like when things become sentient in, you know, fabulous writing, you can do really just even from the point of view, you can get perspectives that you would normally never get. You can have characters that you would normally never get because, you know, suddenly the kitchen appliances are sentient and aware. The second prompt is to start your story with it writing anything but actual rain. For example, flowers, cutlery, seashells, running shoes, anything you can think of. I wanted this one to be really open. You know, you can take this story any direction you want. You can do anything you want with that kind of opening fabulous image. The third prompt is to write a story where the laws of time and space begin to dissolve. I'm really curious to see what people do with this more surreal prompt, especially because it's so open. There's so much that you can do with this one. The fourth prompt is to write a story where your character is traveling a road that has no end. Personally, I'm very fascinated by ideas of endlessness and exploring that through fiction. And so since that's an idea that I find really interesting in my work, I kind of manifested it into this prompt. And finally, write a story about an artist whose craft has magical properties. We're all writers here, so we're all artists of some kind. So I'm really excited to see how people interpret this one, especially since we're all writers ourselves. So we're all artists ourselves and thinking about what that might mean to create in a more magical way. I can't wait to see all the stories that result when the need to be logical or make sense in a more conventional way is completely removed. I hope that this can be a week where you can just let your imaginations completely run wild and don't be afraid to write something bizarre or strange or experimental or weird. I will be picking the winner and I love weird fiction. And so I really wanna encourage you guys to just kind of let your imaginations run wild and don't feel restrained. And if there's a story that you think is too weird, I think this is the time to tell it. I want each prompt to be like an opening of possibility rather than a limit that you put on your story. So let's talk about a couple contest logistics. The contest opens today and it closes March 1st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern time. So your stories need to be in before then. You can submit one story per prompt. So that's up to five stories if you write one for each prompt. The story will be published on Readsy and you'll win a $250 prize. All the winners are also considered for our print literary magazine called Prompted. For this contest, I'll also be writing a personalized critique letter for the winner. The stories have to be between 1,000 and 3,000 words and have to be based on one of the prompts. I'll leave the contest linked in our description. 
If you have any more questions about how the contest works, I'll also leave our contest FAQ page. For this week, we'll also be doing a live write-in. So that's gonna be on February the 28th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So please join in for that. If you want to work on your story in a community environment, there'll be some writing sprints and maybe some questions at the end as well. So that's all for this video. Again, all the contest information is linked in the description. I cannot wait to read your stories. I am so, so excited to see what you guys come up with. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Friday on this channel. Until next time, bye.